what up what up people welcome back to another breakdown video this time we're doing the raiders they have just done some stuff in free agency today i'm excited to talk about uh we'll get to it when we get to it um first off i do want to start talking about Derek carr it's fitting that he's at the top of the list it kind of ranks him by position so today we're going we're going by position so Derek carr <clears throat> My dog right here, he's average, you know. He'll he'll make he'll do the job, he'll do the job that needs to be done, but he he won't carry you to a Super Bowl, you know. If you could upgrade, uh, I would, but as of now, I don't really see an upgrade to Derek Carr. Like a lot of the upgrades are gone, so yeah, they probably got to stick with him, and which is fine. He's not bad. I like him. He's a good dude and all right player. So got yourself a good dude. Mariota, I don't know what you got in him. He's kind of a question mark to me. He like has some flashes. He had some poor performances. The Broncos made him get benched. And that's when they found out Tannehill was good. Uh, uh, but yeah, we don't know really about him. He's okay, I guess. Good backup. Uh, Peyton Barber. He's getting up there in age. I kind of like Kenny and Drake a little more. But then with Kenny and Drake, I kind of like Jalen Richard a little more than Kenny and Drake. But this running back room right here, I'd say keep Jalen Richard. Of course, Josh Jacobs is your number one. So trade. Okay, okay. So I'd say trade probably Payne Barber. See if he can. If not, probably let him go. Uh, Kenny and Drake, he's good for a solid two, I'd say. Or three. If you want to have three, Kenyon, Josh, and Jalen. Or Josh first, Jalen second, then Kenyon. Because you traded for Forum and stuff. Or whatever, I think. I don't know. He used to be on the Cardinals. And I liked him there. But there's your three that you need. You don't need Payton. You don't need Trey. I don't know who that is. He's a rookie. I don't know. Jalen is pretty good. He is 28, but he's good. I think Sutton Smith is on the Packers. I'm not sure, but you only need one fullback anyway. Might as well go with Alec Ingold. Don't really know who that is, sadly. I wish I did. Brian Edwards. <clears throat> this guy right here. Freaking. He was seemed to be better than, uh, what's it called? Their other re rookie receiver or something. That's what they were saying. They are saying this guy was about to explode. I picked him up in fantasy. He did score some pretty good points in some games. So I feel like this guy, this guy does like, he's going to explode one of these times. He's going to go off. He's only 23. Brian Edwards, he's going to have a good career. I, I, I think he has a really good career. Deshaun Jackson, what an idiot. He could have just stayed on the Rams and won a Super Bowl. Dummy. Everybody knows Deshaun Jackson. Deep threat. Freaking... If he would have just stayed on the Rams, free Super Bowl right there. But Dummy had to go and go to the Raiders. Uh, what a dummy. Tyron Johnson, he's okay, but he's 26. They got rid of Zay Jones. That was one of the moves I want to talk about. Uh, the freaking Jack Bears. Uh I think Zay Jones was just a free agent. And yeah, they just let him go to the Jaguars for a buttload of money. Hunter Renfro. Renfro pretty good player uh he's always it's crazy to think he's always talked about as like like compared to dk metcalf and all that you know have you seen those and it's like he's better <laughs> and he's pretty good he is a good receiver solid i like him dylan stoner i do not know dylan stoner dj turner i do not know either but javon wilms i think he's on the bears he did, I think he was like a, either a practice squad or buried in the depth chart. Or he did like, I don't know his stats really, but he was like, man. Um, <clears throat> the only tight ends I know are Foster Moreau and Darren Waller. Really good tight ends right there. Uh, Derek Carrier, I do not know. I feel like you don't even need. You could get a different tight end. He might already be gone. Uh, I don't know their linemen really at all since they let... I think I think they let him go or something. Like Andre James, I don't know. Nick Martin, I do know. I think he's on the Giants. I, if I'm wrong, I think I'm thinking of something else. 
Maybe it was like something else. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I Denzel Good, I do know. He's a solid. He's 31. They do got these young guys, so that's good for the line. And then Richie. I don't like Richie. I don't even want to talk about that freaking Richie. Um, Alex Leatherwood, probably going to be a bust. Hopefully not. Maybe he could get his career up. He's still young. Who knows? Um, Their line seems to be pretty solid. They're young. It's about how well they could work together, you know? They got pretty hefty guys. All at least 300 pounds. Um, So, besides, I guess, one. But if they could work together, find out how to do their thing. I think Richie's actually gone, so that's good. A couple of these guys might be gone. Um, Leatherwood, though. Bust. Colin Miller, he's actually pretty solid. I do know him. He's actually a pretty solid lineman. He's been there for, I think, a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's get on to the defense. Defense right here. Max Crosby, solid. He really came out. He was supposed to be what Cleland Farrell was, right? But he better. He became better. <laughs> and... Speaking of Cleland, I think he might be a bust. He's solid, but no, no first round pick, you know. Uh, I don't know Jerry Green, and I don't know Malcolm Conti. I apologize, but I like that they got a rookie D in, especially with they traded Yannick Nagakwe. And I think Andrew Billings is not here anymore. I, he might have been in the last one that I think, or he's here, and I may be messing up with Andrew Billings. <laughs> I can't, re I can't remember where Andrew Billings is. But Yannick, they just traded Yannick in Nagakwe to the Colts for Rakia Sin. So, who knows who won that trade yet. I did see Rakia Sin get burned quite a bit. But Yannick has been traded, I think, two or three times now. Um, So, who knows how good he is. He's a real good trade piece, I guess. Who knows. He, I think he's pretty solid. But I think since they have Max Crosby, they also released uh, Carl Nassib. So they're getting rid of their... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Here's what the Raiders did today. I'm getting ahead of myself a bit with talking about all these guys here. So they traded Yannick Ngakwe to the Colts for Rakia Sin, right? They released Carl Nassib. So that's two, two people gone right there. But then they got Bylaw Nichols. Uh, X Bears to defensive tackle by law. I think that by by law, Bilal, Bilal. I don't know how to really say. It. I apologize if I butcher it. But Nichols to a co. I think it was like two years or something like that. I'm not too sure. So that's a that's an addition, and then they get freaking uh Chandler Jones. So you go from Yannick Nagakwe and uh Carl Nassib. To buy by Law Nichols and Chandler Jones. Is that an upgrade? I think over uh Carl Nassau was kinda solid, but he wasn't a game wrecker. I think Chandler Jones could be a game wrecker. I think he had one game with five sacks that kind of skewed his overall stats, but he still could be really solid. I think he is older now, so I think he tends to get forgotten about too after like a certain point so you can't really i don't know and especially with being on the raiders no 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 offense but i hope they're able to like get something out of him i hope he's not like i don't know i'm not trying to offend anybody i like a lot of these guys um what else i think that might have been all their moves at the moment i saw they might be eyeing up some receivers as well like, if they got Allen Robinson, man, the AFC West, as of now, is really loaded. So that's insane. I like uh, I like the guys they brought in. But who knows if Nassib and uh, Yannick were, like, better. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, you could look at their stats and performance, locker room, all that, of course. But all right, let's move on. That just, all that news is wild. Stacked AFC West. Let's go. Jonathan Her Hankins. I don't really know Jonathan Hankins. 
Quinton Jefferson, I feel like he's like a player that feels older to me. He already feels like he's 30-something to me, but he's solid. I don't know. I don't know how, like, I don't know. They. I feel like they do need a D-tackle. They let Maurice Hurst go. Oh, they shouldn't have let Maurice Hurst go, in my opinion. Gerald McCoy coming off that injury, or he, like, I think it was last year. It might have been the year before, but he had a bad injury. 34 as well. I don't know Darius Fillin and PJ Johnson, sadly. But I think they need a D tackle upgrade. And Solomon Thomas, he needs to either step up or step out, as they say. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was cliche, my bad. But Solomon, I don't know. He, he was... A, he was like one of those first rounders that didn't really pan out on that defensive line for the 49ers. So they were like, we feel comfortable getting rid of this guy. He was kind of a bit of a liability. Not not much. He was solid, you know. He needs to step up, in my opinion, for the Raiders, if he wants to save his career. Kendall Vickers, I do not know either. Rookie. Oh, no, I lied. I lied. Two years. He's young. Maybe he could develop. Divine Diablo crazy i don't know much about him but great name and 23 year old rookie linebacker i think he was a safety originally and they moved him to linebacker for that fit his skill set or something but yeah he was originally drafted as a safety but not no mo not no mo why does my squidward keep closing there we go um chandler jones already talked about hopefully he could be solid he is 32 I thought he was like 30 actually, but 32. That makes it even scarier. Um, Nick Kwiatkowski, he's been there for a little while. He's been, I think he's more of a run stopper. I might be wrong, but not too sure. I like Markrell Lee. He's pretty solid. Corey Littleton on the Rams was, I liked him on the Rams. When he went over to the Raiders, it's always like, he's been like, He's known, especially when they play the Broncos, you kind of hear his name quite a bit. And you do hear freaking Marquel as well. But they are some pretty solid linebackers right here. I like their linebackers. And then Denzel Perryman as well, and then KJ Wright. I like a lot of their linebackers on this team, actually. Patrick. I, I can't really say that. On, on Woos... On a woe sore. I'm sorry. I'm not going to try. <laughs> I like a lot of these guys. So they got a good linebacking crew. I don't know what I would change. Maybe Justin March Lillard. I don't know if he's expendable or not. I'm just looking at the age at this point. But that would mean KJ and Denzel might be as well. And Kyle. It depends on how they perform and who they are, you know. But on paper, I really like their linebackers. Okay. Um, CB. They got some good corners. They, I mean, they had to release Damon Arnett, and he went on. Oh, he might be on the Chiefs, and I forgot to talk about him. I don't know what team he went to, if he's even on a team. Okay, but they still have Casey Hayward. They still have Trayvon Mullen, and they still have Amik Robertson. Those three, I really like that core. Nate Hobbs is a good pickup as well. I'm surprised, like, with him, he had to really step up with all the incidents. So, I'm glad they are able to have somebody. It's always good to have solid people all around. Like, I like, I don't know. There's always, like, good people on every team. This is one of them. These are one of them. Hopefully. Hopefully Nate Hobbs is one of them. He's, he's stepped up. Trayvon Mullen, you can't hate him. Yeah, Casey Hayward, I think he was on the Chargers before this, and then he's here. You can't really hate him, but he's getting old. They do got to find another corner, because Desmond Trufant, I think he was on the Falcons. See, these three, Keon, Keyshawn Nixon, I don't really know him, sadly. I think I've heard of him a couple times, but I, I don't think I know him. But this is a good three right here, in my opinion. Travion, number one. Uh... Let's do a Meek 2 and Nate 3. I think that's pretty good. I don't know who would be the slot in that opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm not really too in-depth on that, but that that's amazing right there. 
Jonathan Abram. Hopefully he's not a bust. I'm surprised they didn't move him to linebacker, honestly. But he hits hard. He got injured a few times. But I don't know. I think he's solid in my eyes, but they need they probably could use a good safety. If you look at this safety, they only got Trayvon Moreg and he's pretty much the only one that I could name that's like gonna be probably really good. I think like a couple of these guys are a little like older and a little late. I don't know anything about Tyree Glipsy. I don't know Jordan Brown. Jonathan Abram needs to kinda Kinda of needs to show that he's a little more. I feel like we need to see just more from him. And Natrell Jamerson, I don't really know. Natrell, I think. Natrell, I, I don't know how to say it. I apologize. I don't know him. Delilin Levit, Levit, I don't know him. I apologize. So they, I, I think they could use a safety. They need a safety in a corner. But they got... They did get Chandler Jones and Bylaw. And, oh, oh, and Rocky Sin. They got Rocky Sin. He did get beat. So that's four corners right there that I do like. He did get beat a lot. Maybe trade Desmond, see if he could get something. Maybe trade Casey, see if he could get something. I don't know. Rocky Sin, if he could also step it up. He's kind of scary. Yeah, that guy kind of scares me. Special teams, AJ Cole, solid punter. I think something happened. I don't know if they got let him go or not. I can't remember. Daniel Carson, he's been there for a little bit, four years. He's solid. You kind of rely. That's kind of what you need as a kicker, just reliable and solid and kind of got it. Long snapper, I don't know. I apologize. I like that he's from Colorado State. Let's go. Oh, uh, man. Keep him. Keep him on the roster forever. But all right, I think that might be it. All the news. Little uh, Uchana Nwosu is going to the Seahawks. J.D. Miskasek and Bobby McCain go to the Commanders. Crazy. But I hope you all enjoy. I think that's all for today. I got this other tab open just in case. Andre James, I think he was on that other list. I think I talked about everybody. So let me know if I miss anybody. Let me know what division or team to do next if y'all have a preference. I don't really know what I'm going to do next, thinking of a whole division. But, yeah, this is a pretty good Robert um, roster. I think they could go pretty far. I didn't know they had Gary Jennings. I think I, I think I talked about him in the other one, though. I'm glad I used the other one, other format. But, anyway, I think they need safety and corner. They could probably use a quarterback to start – developing um they'll probably get a receiver to in free agency because it's still like a process um in the draft i don't know lineman maybe they'll probably try to shoot for a lineman maybe a receiver if they don't get one in free agency um that's kind of all i i have i think that's it so i hope you all enjoy Sorry if it's a little shorter. I kind of keep try to keep them at 20 minutes or even if that. And if I miss anybody, let me know. I think I said that already. And you all have a great day and enjoy some football. The Raiders are pulling some moves. AFC West is going to be amazing to watch. Stay tuned for the next team and division. Later.